Uh, need to lose some weight. And yes, it is for sex reasons. It's not that I'm not having it. I'm good. Don't worry about it. I'm not on Reddit or nothing. Like, I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about me. I'm good. The issue is stamina. And I'm not talking about coming too quick. At least if you come too quick, you came. I'm talking about running out of breath. Running out of breath at inopportune times. You know what I'm talking, somebody here knows what I'm talking about. Oh, Jamel, don't stop. I should probably stop. You need to let me stop. I took my Fitbit off. I don't know what's happening inside of me. <laughs> Gotta get it together. Gotta go the distance. Cause that's sex, baby doll. <laughs> sex is one of them things you don't get credit for proof of concept. <laughs> you gotta do it. Is you fucking or what? <laughs> and I got moves. I got a lot of moves. Like, like I got the fireball. I, do, I, do, I got a lot of regular. I, do, I, do, I can do that. But I don't got when like the animations change. You remember when Scorpion would pull the. <laughs> pull the ropes out, you know what I'm saying? That joke murders on Twitch. <laughs> Gotta tell you. <laughs> uh, tell y'all something less invasive about me. Uh, from DC, anybody, DC? Cool. That's awesome. I'll take this, I'll pick this up. It's not that important, it's just for this story. Uh, my grandma got me the first job I ever had. I, I was an employee, I was a seasonal employee at the now closed Masters Tuxedo and Costumes and Cleaners. Uh, I was a seasonal employee. Uh, it was two seasons. The first one was springtime. This was prom season. This was the best season because every weekend I would find money in tuxedo returns. Every single Saturday I worked there without fail. I would find cash, unused disposable cameras, and way too many condoms. Way too, like one nigga has rented one suit. 18 condoms. You got the suit for one day. You holding condoms for the whole class? Second season, second season's fall time, they come to me. This is costume time, they come to me, they say, hey Jamel, we want you to dance around in a costume. My reply, we could have been doing this shit in April. It's the only reason I took the job in the first place. <laughs> These are my wildest fantasies, wearing a big ass helmet on the streets. <laughs> and week one was incredible. I'm out there, I'm trying dance moves, I never had the confidence to try, you know, like the Charleston. Lindy Hop, all that shit. It was beautiful. Week two, the DC sniper started shooting people. And none of my managers told me to come inside. They didn't think old Jamel was a pressing matter. Week three, I stood up for myself. I was like, yo, I'm not going back out there. Y'all can kiss my ass, I'm not doing it. There's somebody shooting random people, and I'm pretty sure Winnie the Pooh and Jordans is as random as it gets. There's only one of these per what? 20,000 blocks? If you're shooting random niggas, who you gonna shoot? You got me on easy mode right now. Once again, Twitch classics. I'm giving y'all Twitch classics. Uh, <laughs> Happy, uh, happy Black Chinese New Year to you guys. It's been a good year, been a good year for everybody everywhere, I'd say. I think that's a, I think that's a fair assessment to make in public. Everybody's been having a blast. Uh, 
except for me, I'm the only one. <laughs> this is a bunch of new shit fucking with my head. Like, is there any hand sanitizer in any of them dispensers? <laughs> Dog, they're all empty. <laughs> I've wasted so much time doing this. <laughs> Oh, maybe I did it wrong. <laughs> Despite this, I've been taking the time to learn, been doing a lot of learning. Uh, you know what I found out? Did you guys know every white person in the 70s was Italian? <laughs> Check the photos, prove me wrong if you can. I don't think you can. <laughs> We've also been doing some learning about myself getting into what make JamelJohnson.com tick. <laughs> you know what I found out about me? I can't listen to anybody's problems if they owe me money. <laughs> Have you experienced it? I want to listen more than anything, but something about that tab, them words, they just a tab. It just don't, I can't, it don't, it, it don't. Like, even if they my own problems. Okay, so me and my roommate were splitting a utility bill, and I'm the one fronting the bill because I lost rock, paper, scissors, or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I lost hood darts, whatever you, I mean, whatever you think. I'm the one fronting the bill, and my roommate, he just, he just hadn't given me the money back yet. Key word is yet. It wasn't an unreasonable amount of time. It had only been like four hours, but I just had not received. The money just wasn't, it wasn't in my palm grip. And this fool's in the kitchen trying to talk to me about the importance of minority representation in Hollywood. It's like, bro, I feel you. I've been, I've been black for years. Several years now. Except for 1996, I've been black this whole time. <laughs> but uh, until I get my $78 back, I don't know, let's make the movies whiter. I think we can make them whiter. Let's try. They could put Hugh Grant in Black Panther. I ain't saying make him the Panther. He could be an ocelot, a leopard. Or... There's all type of cats. You could make him one of them white cats. And that's how I'm carrying it until I get my fucking money. <laughs> and quit asking me if I'm on Venmo, dog. You know I got kicked off Venmo. You know better than anybody on this earth that I am not on Venmo. <laughs> Thank you for not laughing too hard. I really did get kicked off Venmo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how you ask? Selling weed wrong. How else do you get kicked off Venmo? I didn't know anybody was reading them messages. Somebody reads those? My friends would be like, hey, can I write weed in here? Yeah, do it again, write it twice. Go ahead. Uh, this is the last thing that I'm gonna say. Uh, dating. Uh, yeah, did some dating. <laughs> dating on the phone. Dating on the phone. Because you don't have any other options. You got to date on the phone. I would love to meet my soulmate at the Shell Station, but those aren't the rules. <laughs> that is strange. <laughs> and the phone, it's hard. It's just, it's, it's weird because I live a very analog lifestyle. You feel me? <laughs> I don't make that much sense in a digital realm. If you saw me, if you saw everything about me on a sheet of paper, it would look like I've been dead for 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. What's the last thing you watched? Uh, NYPD Blue, how? Where? Thanks for watching, guys.